This video is about arrival. Most sponsored refugees have the cost of their travel covered by the Government of Canada's Immigration Loans Program. Please watch the video on immigration loans for more details. When travel has been booked for sponsored refugees, we receive a notification of arrival, also known as a NAT, Notification of Arrival Transmission. This is an email from IRCC to sponsors that includes the arrival date, the itinerary, the names and birth dates and unique client identification number or UCI for each family member. It also flags medical needs and includes sponsors contact information. The timing of this notification varies. IRCC is supposed to send the NAT at least 10 days before the actual arrival date, but sometimes we get it a month or a few weeks in advance. And sometimes in situations where last minute travel arrangements are being made, we get it only a few days before the arrival itself. Sponsors need to make sure they have a copy of the NAT email when they go to the airport. And it's also a helpful email to refer back to because it has the names and birth dates exactly as they will be on immigration documents that might help you for registrations, etc. After IRCC has finalized a refugee's application to Canada, they issue permanent resident visas and then they hand the application or case over to the IOM, the International Organization for Migration. The IOM is contracted by the Government of Canada to make travel arrangements and facilitate travel for refugees resettling to Canada. The IOM will be in contact with the sponsored refugees. They will make sure that they have the necessary documents, exit permits, they will book the flights, and they provide help at any stopovers. At Pearson Airport in Toronto, there is an organization called PICS the Polycultural Immigrant and Community Services Organization, and they play this IOM facilitation role here in Toronto. PICS staff speak many different languages, and they will have one person assigned to the refugee newcomers that you are sponsoring, and they will help them go through immigration and customs and accompany them out to meet their sponsors. PIC staff wear orange jackets and orange lanyards, so they're easily identifiable. Refugee newcomers are given an IOM bag that helps PIC staff identify them as they're coming off the plane. In most cases, before traveling to Canada, sponsored refugees have an orientation session with the IOM. You can find out more about this by searching Canadian Orientation Abroad. Refugees are told about life in Canada, and they're told about the travel procedures. They're also given access to different resources like this workbook and the O Canada app. Of course, the arrival is a very exciting moment. Remember, however, that the newcomers are probably exhausted after a very long journey. Aura has checklists that you can refer to, pre-arrival and arrival checklists, to make sure that you have planned correctly. A couple of things to remember. They will exit the same place as other international travelers and sponsors are expected to be there ready and waiting. You can track their flight online and we suggest that you aim to arrive at the airport one hour after the flight lands. They have to go through immigration and customs and sometimes this takes several hours. So be prepared to wait. We've seen people come out as quickly as one hour after landing and six hours after landing and every time frame in between. Be sure to plan transportation for people and luggage. And there's free Wi-Fi at the airport in Toronto. And so they should be able to contact sponsors after they've landed, but before they actually come out to meet you. Make sure that the sponsored Refugees have the contact information for their sponsors who will be at the airport because the information for sponsors that is on the notification of arrival 
is not always the information for the people who will actually be at the airport. So the best way to make sure that if the PIX folks need to contact sponsors, they will be able to is for the refugee newcomers themselves to have that information on hand. The arrival process may vary in some cases. For example, if newcomers arrive at another port of entry, so they land in another city in Canada that is not Toronto, then they'll go through immigration and customs in that city before traveling onward to Toronto on a domestic flight. In that case, the local organization will help assist them the same way the PICS folks assist people in Toronto. And then when you pick them up at the airport, you won't have to wait a long time because all they'll have to do is pick up their bags. They will already have gone through that time consuming processing. In some cases, refugees arrive on chartered flights and then sponsors may be given special instructions to pick them up. And for a very small number of cases, the IOM does not facilitate travel because they don't operate in some countries. Um, but for the vast majority of cases, the IOM facilitates travel. There are some important documents that the newcomers will have received before they come out to meet their sponsors. The first is the confirmation of permanent residence. This is a very important document and you can learn more about it by watching the video on permanent residence. The second is the Interim Federal Health or IFHP Certificate of Eligibility. This is a document that shows the special health care coverage that they will have for their first year in Canada. And you can learn more about it by watching the video on IFHP. Sometimes newcomers receive their social insurance numbers. It depends whether or not the Service Canada kiosk is open. So you want to check to make sure if they received their social insurance number or not, so you know if you have to apply for it or not. For more information, watch the video on the social insurance number. And they should also have whatever travel document they used to travel to Canada. So either their passport, if they had a valid passport, or a single journey travel document, which the government of Canada issues for one-time travel to Canada for people who do not have valid passports. Thank you for watching this video on the arrival.